Hey guys, what's going on? So, a while back I did a video about my daily intake and what I eat and prepare on a daily basis. Well, that is still pretty much the same. However, there was one meal that I wasn't real happy with and that was my post-workout meal. So I've done some tweaking and I found some options that not only are nutritious, hit my macros, but also give some variety. I mean, I'm using the common base as rice and your protein, but that can get boring. So I wanna do a little video today in the kitchen and show you what I do to make this uh, meal not only nutritious and hit what I need for my uh, nutri uh, nutrition, but also add some variety and keep you from getting bored. So check it out. Okay, so first let me go through my ingredient list. So like I mentioned before, the base is white rice. Now I'm using white rice now because I'm actually trying to increase my intake. Uh, to help promote muscle growth and metabolism gain. When I switch to cutting, I'll switch to brown rice for an increase in fiber. Uh, the next thing is my protein sources. So I have three protein sources that I go through. I've got good old tuna, uh, then I also have beef, and then chicken. Now, obviously you'll notice that the beef and chicken are already prepped. What I like to do on that is I like to cook that up in advance on the grill, add in a bunch of spices, really make it taste good, uh, portion it into the right sizes. For myself, that's four ounces. And then I freeze them so I can easily bring them out and throw them into the mix. Next thing is vegetables. So I've got a variety of vegetables here. I've got broccoli, mixed vegetables. Um, I've got some uh, red or purple onions, whatever you like to call them. And then some peppers. And these are you know, obviously cut up in advance and frozen for easy uh, preparation later. And then finally is the spices. And I've got a lot of different spices here, things that I've just experimented with over time. I like to add those in as we go, and I'll talk through that a little bit more. And then also a little extra virgin olive oil too, which I'll talk about next. So I work from home, and so for me, prepping this in advance uh, and each time I eat is not a big deal. So, you know, certainly the rice, you could certainly cook that in bulk in advance and uh, portion that out. But again, for me, and I think a lot of you at home, uh, you work from home and you have flexibility, I just measure it out and uh, cook it one batch at a time. So I'm going to put 60 weighted grams in there, just like that. Okay. And so today is a beef day. And so I'm going to, I'm going to put in a little bit more water. I put in just a little bit over half a cup of water in here, just so I have a little bit more uh, fluid when I cook the beef. And uh, I like to add some broccoli with my beef, beef and broccoli. So I'm just going to go ahead and add that in there. So I'm going to put uh, 85 weighted grams of that in there. Again, you add some variety by using different vegetables uh, each time. It doesn't really take a lot of extra prep, but it adds to a little bit of flavor. So like I mentioned, I like to rotate my protein sources between fish, beef, and chicken. Why do I do that? Well, one is just for sheer uh, variety. You know, I like the different uh, flavors and textures of each, but also you get specific vitamins and minerals and then also, you know, different sources of fat from each one. So not only does it help with variety, but it also gives you different nutrition. Uh, I like to do fish twice a week. I like to do beef twice a week, and then I fill in the gaps with the chicken. Okay, so we cooked our rice and vegetables, and so I'm gonna add the beef right in there and we're just going to cook that right into the rice. I like to kind of mix that in there just so it helps get it all nice and evenly distributed. And I would do this again for the chicken. And then for tuna, if we do the tuna, obviously I'm not going to cook that, but then I would add the, uh, the oil to the tuna and the uh, chicken afterwards. Not going to do that with the beef because there's already plenty of fat in there. So let's talk about the oil. So, so like, like I, I mentioned, mentioned before, the oil, oil it depends, depends on what, what my protein base is. If it's tuna or chicken, or chicken I add the oil to it. For beef, I don't because the beef has more fat than the other two protein sources and the fat's in there. Now I add the oil and not only is olive oil a great source of good fat, but also it helps with the texture, keeps the rice moist. Uh, with, with, with the, the tuna, tuna and, and the chicken, chicken as well. Okay, we got our, our foods cooked and ready to go, so now we're gonna spice it up. 
So for beef, I actually add in about a tablespoon of the Walden Farm barbecue sauce. This adds just a little bit of flavor and a little bit of fluid to help with the, the texture. Nobody likes sticky rice. And again, like I mentioned before, we put the oil in with the chicken and the tuna. And so this adds some fluid to this dish. Now for tuna, I'll add in a little bit of soy sauce uh, as well. And that's also why I don't add as much water to the rice uh, because that's going to add some moisture. Okay, for pepper, variety of spices here. You know, you just kind of have to experiment. I like just to throw in a lot of different things. Uh, these are some things that I've done over time. So, you know, we throw some pepper in there, basil, uh, onion, ground mustard, uh, garlic powder, uh, some parsley as well. You know, throw in some salt too, regular salt, mixed up salt, whatever. Uh, another spice I like is paprika. Uh, nutmeg. So again, just add some things, a spice of life, and then once you get all those in there, obviously you're going to stir it up and mix it up real good. That way you make, uh, make sure you got a good, even distributed flavor. Now, in addition to this meal, I also have a protein shake that uh, I have with it. For me, it's only half a scoop away and just helps increase the amino acid content and also gets a few more grams of protein in the meal. So total macros with just the food alone is 30 grams of protein, 60 grams of carbs, and 15 grams of fat. Now when I add in the half a scoop of whey protein, that bumps that up to about 45 grams of protein, which is great for me, what I'm looking for in my post-workout meal. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I hope you got something out of this video. Again, this is a nice meal that not only hits the, the things you need after a workout, but also gives you some variety and it's not too hard to make. So if you like this video, hit a, give it a thumbs up. Also, if you're watching this on YouTube, Here's a link to my prior video that I did when I was going through my whole entire meal plan. And until next time, keep making everyday count.